hello everyone welcome to chrome tutorials in this video we are going to see that how can we solve the site not loading correctly issue in google chrome the error message that you are most likely to get in this scenario is the site cannot be reached so the steps to fix this issue are very simple first of all you need to make sure that you are connected to a valid internet connection if your internet connection is valid um, then you can proceed with the solution discussed in this video uh, furthermore, even if your internet connection is valid, make sure that other sites are accessible because sometimes the problem is not with your browser, but the problem is with the server from that particular site. So make sure all the other sites are accessible. If they are accessible, then also you do not need to do anything discussed in this video because your browser is good. There is no issue from your end. But if both of these cases are not for you, then you can continue with the solution discussed in this video. The solution is fairly simple. Go to your search tab and just type in internet. Uh, internet options. So this options, uh, internet options would be there. It is a part of the control panel. Let's just click on that. This will open up this kind of a dialog box for internet properties. So whether it is internet properties or internet options, the names are synonyms to one another. You can just type in anything. Then once this dialog box is there, go to the connections. Make sure that the dial up that is being used over here, the dial up that is shown over here, you are not currently using it for the connections. My case Vodafone is being shown, but I'm not using it for um, internet access I'm using a different network then go to this LAN settings uh, this LAN settings button make sure this proxy server is unchecked like this option use a proxy server for your LAN so make sure that it is unchecked click on OK again click on OK and then restart your computer not the Chrome browser but your whole computer is what you need to restart once you have done that then your issue will be solved and you will be good to go. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching.